This is the Leon Hay 2, and yes, it's another pair of wearable AR glasses, but they aren't trying to overwhelm you with apps and graphics or be these large video displays in glasses. The Leon Hay 2s are really just all about translation to keep you present and connected with others. Now, this is a sponsored video, and there are different manufacturers approaching different cases for AR glasses, but I partner with them because I have not seen or found a better pair of fast and accurate translation glasses like these, and they are so good at what they specifically do. So let's first unbox these, and like any pair of glasses, you have the box. You've got these little gold metal accents on the outside, but when I open it up, it reveals one of the more classier glass cases with a combination of hard plastic and leather that is also a charging case that connects via USB-C to charge it. It has 3,100 milliampere hour battery inside and that's good for charging the Hay 2 glasses 12 times. Once we open it up, you will see the Leon Hay 2s and what stands out to me is that these are very lightweight, minimal design glasses compared to what else is out there in the industry. I put them on a scale and they weighed in at 50 grams, which is just about the same as the lightest AR glasses on the market. Now these aren't clunky or chunky at all. They have dual displays that line up in the center, but it's a very basic green monochromatic text-based display with simple icons as well. Now the touch controls, they're gonna be here on the right arm to navigate the UI. There is a physical button here on the bottom on the left arm. That's just to turn the display on or off. There are no speakers, so that means no volume control. And if you're saying that these are pretty low tech, I'd maybe counter and say these are lightweight tech with really a focus on a specific function. Now that function is translation. It supports over 100 different languages with a response time that's less than half a second. So you could really have a natural and real time communication with someone while you're wearing these glasses. Now you'll need to download the Leon app on your device and connect the glasses to it because it's what you use to set up some of the features and it's the internet connection as well. So let's show you how they excel and that's with some translation demos just for you. All right, everybody, so we are now in the living room. John is here with me because he's gonna help us with this demo because he speaks Korean and I speak English. So we have the app here and we're gonna show off the functions and just give you guys a taste of flavor. But let's jump in first of all we see translation. This is one's over here, so I'm gonna hit that. Okay, this is actually, the app is gonna show us really what is happening, what I see in the glasses. So right now, we are in translation. I'm actually speaking English, but it's showing me uh, Korean subtitles, essentially subtitles in front of me. We also see it happening on the screen here. This is not the microphone. The microphones are all here, but we're getting a display of that, just so that you can see that as well. So it's translating English into Korean. Uh, I think if you speak in English too, it'll translate as well. Do you want to give it a shot? Yeah, Brian, this is pretty fast. And I'm pretty impressed actually how like little latency there is between that. Yeah, it's less than half a second. Your internet connection may, you know, affect that a little bit, but this again is going glasses to phone and then output. So there we go, that's translation, all right? So let's go back here now and do captions. Now captions is fun because this is whatever I'm saying. It's just showing me what I'm saying on screen. It can be translated to, to different languages if I want to, but really for the most part, it shows me what I'm saying. And I believe if you say something, it's it's sticking with, with my dialogue. Do you see anything while, while I'm talking? Is there... I do, yeah, oh, I do know. Okay. So we're doing, so this is a caption translation. Essentially, if we're in a conversation, it's just showing this. But I think where we can take things to the next level is really when we talk about free talk. And this, what free talk is really used for is let's take an example of I'm visiting Korea and I wanna have a conversation with someone. They need to see and understand what I'm saying and I need to see and understand what you're saying, right? So what we have here is on screen, it's showing a translation. So when I say, hey, John, I'm visiting from out of country. When's the next baseball game that I can see? Cause I heard I have to go see a baseball game when I'm in Korea. So if John didn't know English, it would show all that here. I'm actually seeing this here, but let's have John talk to me now and ask a question. 야구가 핫하다고 하는데 한국에서 내일 저녁에 야구 보러 갈까 같이? Okay, he says, but are you going to watch baseball tomorrow evening in Korea? Is that correct? In a way, close? yeah. What else? Maybe ask another thing. 지하철 타면 제일 빠르고 아니면 버스 타고 가도 되고. 근데 야구장 가면 맛있는 거 많다고 해 요즘에. Okay. So we're seeing this, I'm seeing everything translated here. 
they say that taking the subway is the fastest way to go, or you can take the bus. Pretty good. Okay. 삼겹살도 먹어도 되고 고기 뭐 많이 있고 치킨도 많다고 하고. 근데 야구 끝나고 늦게 끝날 텐데 어떻게 집에 갈래? 택시 타고 갈래? 아니면 버스 타고 갈래? This again, it's about the speed, right? Real time, near real time, less than half a second. So this is a free flow talk. I think this is probably the feature that most people use the most, quite honestly, when they're traveling. Okay, last one is teleprompter. Now, what I like about the teleprompter is you can actually load your own scripts and the words that you see again, I could wear these glasses and essentially give a presentation or something like that. So I'm just gonna pop up this script here. You can load them yourselves. We're gonna go with intelligent prompting. All right, so I see the text here that I'm gonna read and let's just jump into it, okay? Leon Hey2 augmented reality air glasses are designed for barrier-free communication featuring ultra-long battery life for daily wear. They offer functions such as real-time language translation, prompting navigation, and AI assistant with characteristics of high transparency, stylish appearance, and wireless wearing. The product adopts one to two binocular waveguide technology. So what's happening is I'm seeing the text changing here. I think on the screen here that we have captured, um, it's showing that text change as well. So this can also be used as a prompter. Now, we do the best to give you all an idea at home what this is like, but I think the biggest thing that stands out is the speed. Like you and I weren't waiting a second or two. We've seen that happen on other products. Yes, Let's be real. we have. I mean, this is so fast. <laughs> I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, pretty impressed too. And general accuracy overall, I feel like not that it has to get warm, but it, it's doing a solid job of, I would say like eight to nine out of 10 basically. Yeah. So that's a little translation demo. Now there's also another feature here. This is called their AI Q&A system. I can ask it questions and it can give me responses with information. So let's do something like this. Tell me about Bruce Lee. And it shows that up on display. Okay, you can do follow-up questions. Who is his wife? And it knows the context. It shows us that information there. Let's try this now. Where is he buried? And it tells us there. So more useful than just translation, you got a little more versatility there. So what do you think about that now, right? I really hope you now understand why these are so good, right? It's the quality of the translation. It's the speed of the response and the speed of the device in a lightweight design that quite frankly, you could arguably wear all day. Now these don't have some of the weight of other AR glasses. That's a good thing for that all day comfort. It does have a four mic array, so it gets precise pickup for the source of the audio, whether it's in front of you or whether it's you're the person talking, depending on which function you're using. It has neural noise reduction for clarity in noisy environments, and it's able to distinguish different voices accurately. Battery life, this is about six to eight hours because of its lightweight tech, right? That's an advantage, making these usable for long stretches of time. Now, Leon's mission as a company, they said is they wanna create technology that restores human connection. And I think that it's actually achieving that and enhancing it with these glasses. Now, there is going to be an early bird deal for the Leon Hay 2s from January 6th to the 31st. So check out the information and the link in the description. You can see, right, this is another viable entry into the wearable AR market with a specific approach and use case. Look, others have tried to throw in translation as an additional feature, but here, the Leon Hay 2s, they were designed specifically for translation, and you can see why they're so good at it. So thanks so much for watching, and we will see you all in the next video.